Hello and welcome! It is Gauntlet of Greatness winning in number two. We are in group B now. So we just played the group A winning in. I won't spoil it in case the videos get posted out of order. Group B, it's going to be Necropotence against Dragonstorm. Dragonstorm is the deck that dealt Necro the surprise loss in the first round, but Dragonstorm lost to Affinity, Necro eliminated Jund, and here we are. Rematch with a top eight spot on the line. I'm curious to see what happens. I think the Necro deck is advantaged here, but... I don't think it's a blowout. I mean, obviously the Dragonstorm deck was able to piece together just enough in the last game. I guess we can look at look at these these deck lists. Uh, this Necro deck is not a combo deck. This is old school Necro. It is Him to Torox, Pump Knights, Hypnotic Specters, just a bunch of sort of what passes for mana efficient creatures at the time, and what really are mana efficient spells. Uh, you know, Drain Life to fuel things, Nevi's Disc to potentially reset the board. This is when people talk about Necro Summer, this is basically the deck that they're talking about. Um, oh, by the way, Strip Mine is unrestricted here. Uh, the opponent is the Dragonstorm deck. Dragonstorm made the finals at the World Championships two years in a row. This is Mahara's version, which won the Worlds in uh, Maki, Hall of Famer Maki Mihito Mahara's hands. Lotus Bloom and Cantrips, uh, Red Rituals to try to get to Dragonstorm, you only need to play three spells into your Dragonstorm, and you go get four Bogart and Hellkites, and bang, that's 20 damage. So it's basically just build up mana and then ritual, ritual into a Dragonstorm. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Can, can Shadow stitch enough resources together through my hymns and strips and assorted disruption? Or will the Necro deck make the playoffs for a third season in a row? Oops, that is the wrong deck. Where's my deck? There's my deck. I do remember walking out of this thinking the Dragonstorm might actually be at least, it might actually be 50 50 against this deck. So we'll see. Because yeah, you're I a little slow. I remember walking out thinking it's closer than I expected, but. Yeah. All right, All right. I'm joining the game. I will see you on the other side, sir. All right, good luck. Good luck to you. Shadow is muted. Now we can talk. Ah, lost the die roll. Let me get over to the gameplay. All right, this hand looks fine. Um, it doesn't really do anything quickly, does it? I don't think I can turn it down, though. I mean, it's got a hippie, it's got a necro. I guess the contagion is dead against him, but if I just go hypnotic specter, hypnotic specter, necropotence, that's probably good enough. Like it's it's too good to mulligan, even though I have nothing to do on turn one or turn two. Oh geez, two lotus blooms. Oh. <laughs> and then there's the fact that I'm on the draw and I might draw something relevant. I think this draw just got a little bit better. Just a little. I mean, he might have a Giga Drowse, but other than that, Hippie's just going to start knocking cards out of his hand. He does have a Kick of Drowse, and he's going to use it, effectively choosing what card he has to discard. Yep. Seems reasonable. I drew another Contagion, which is garbage. I would play Mistress Factory there so that it won't have Summoning Sickness next turn, but I just I can't imagine the world in which I'm, I would attack with Mishra instead of summoning a second Hippie. And this gives me the option to play Third Swamp into Necro. Which I still think Hypnotic Inspector's best, but that's why I sequenced it the way I did. He did not play a land. I hit the Dragonstorm, don't I? We hit right a flame. Okay, so he's gonna get Lotus Plume, Lotus Plume. All right, now I think I am gonna play the Mishra. Hypnotic Inspector just seems better than Necro. Like I can't Necro into anything that'll do anything at instant speed. 
So I basically have to assume that he can't kill me immediately and set myself up to be as disruptive as possible on the following turn. So he's just going to turn for me through turn one Ritual Hippie. Kind of insane. He's got three cards left. This is three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now he's going to Dragon Storm. Unbelievable. Two different copies of Rite of Flame. I only got in one. First turn Ritual Hippie, he Giga Drowses it, and then takes one hit. I miss the Dragon Storm, and we're dead. Unbelievable. So he's just going to get Bogart and Hellkite with each copy of Dragonstorm. I'll let you see how it works once. Unbelievable. Yeah, he won the die roll and he turned forward me through Ritual Hippie. Kill my hypnotic specters, honestly. Yeah, CC, five to me. Each of these is just going to be five to me. I guess hypothetically, if he was holding a Hellkite, I could block, but he's not. There are no cards in his hand, so I'm just going to concede. Yikes. That's why this deck keeps hanging out. It has, uh, it's has it been in every season of the Gauntlet. It's made the playoffs once. It hasn't been particularly close to relegation. Interesting. Now what? All right. Nevi's Disc isn't particularly good. Like when he combo kills me, how does this work? I just have to be as disruptive as possible. I want Ice Quake. Nevi's Disc doesn't do anything. Contagion does actual nothing. I mean, if I gain life and have a Nevenero's Disc in play, I can potentially combo. I can potentially beat his combo kill. But, like, Contagion isn't going to do anything. Yeah, I think I play it like this. Couple of discs, but the Ice Quakes are what I really want. Oh, I guess the thing that Contagion does is it allows me to beat a draw where he has one dragon. Which is kind of what Nevenil's disc lets me beat, too. Yeah, I think I leave a, the discs seem better. All right, we'll do it like this. Jeez. Yeah, it's true. If I don't top deck that ritual, I don't do anything that game. Um, yeah, it's a keeper. You know what I consult for? I mean, I don't have the third swamp for Necro. I kind of need to use the consult here, though, if I'm going to play Necro on turn three. Huh. I could consult for him, him to Torok him. I have a Knight to follow up. I have a Necro as soon as I draw a Swamp. I feel like I have to attack his hand. I could consult for Hypnotic Spectre to play on turn three. It just feels so slow. I think it's him to Torok. So we lost. Not that much. Hit Hellkite Shivagrief. Nice. Four. I know I can discard the Necro, so it's at least four. 
I don't love my plays for next turn, so I'm going to do a fifth. I like the part where he doesn't play lands. That seems good for us. Okay, we found a him, found some swamps. So next turn is a him to Turok and a pop knight. I mean, this should be good enough. I will have knocked four cards out of his hand before his Lotus Bloom resolves. Doesn't seem like he can have enough to stitch it together. going to be down to one card in hand. <laughs> sure. He gets to pick the card that's on top. I mean, I guess Lotus Bloom plus Lotus Bloom plus a couple lands. He can, he can get there once the second Lotus Bloom resolves. Got a Pow Pyroplasm. And Rite of Flame. I get four cards. Nothing disruptive. But drain life's not completely irrelevant. I'll probably just do a big drain next turn. It's either that or pump a pump a knight, play another pump knight. He's going to have 9 mana next turn, and there's nothing I can do about that. He's going to have 9 mana in a storm of 2, I guess? If that last card is Dragon Storm, he can get 6 power hasty guys. So I guess I'm going to do a big drain life. Well, it's not that big. I'm going to do a medium drain life. is five. Found a strip mine. That's not nothing. It's your last card of Dragon Storm Shadow. I think you win if it is. It's not. Great. Huh. Strip mine even good here? Like he's got three, six, seven, eight. He's got ten with one card in his hand. I mean if I strip him, then he's down to just Dragonstorm. He can't go spell into Dragonstorm. Though he can if it's a ritual. He just can't do sleight of hand. I feel like we're closing on the point where I need to just kill him. I can go Mishra. Fire up Mishra, tap Mishra, hit him for five, play a Pump Knight, and then next turn I can hit him for eight. Yeah, I'm going to play to kill him next turn. I kind of like 13 life. I'm just going to hang out here. I 
Seeding song? Seriously? <laughs> this is really happening, isn't it? <laughs> All right, a nice pump fake. I'll allow it. I think, though, that if he gets two, like, I have, I don't know, it's going to be close if he does top deck the dragons from there. He only gets two dragons. Like, I don't die on the spot, and I have a drain life, so I think I can drain life one dragon dead. <sighs> Would have been close. It's also true that the dragons themselves are probably better than the dragons from there. Did we learn anything? Like, I still don't feel like I want Contagion. I do feel like I want the ability to blow up a dragon. But, I mean, Drain Life and Nevi's Disc give me that. Yeah, I think I've got it about right. On to game three. Spot in the top eight on the line. So it's a Strip Mine, a Pump Knight, and a Necro. think this is good enough? I mean, it's not spectacular, but the strip mine is decent. I think I keep this. I wouldn't keep it without the strip mine, but with the strip mine, I think it's good enough. Now it's much better. Still. I mean, I get one him before the Lotus Bloom resolves. And then I get another. Bogart and Hellkite Seething Song. That's got to be good. Let's get three cards in his hand. And they have to be really good to kill me here. I will be sad if that happens, but it is possible. It's also particularly hard to kill me when I have Zern Orb, although if he just puts a bunch of dragons into play, my Zern Orb's not going to save me for long enough to do anything meaningful. <sighs> Him definitely the key card, so he's got five mana and four cards in his hand, and he's thinking. Enough with the thinking, more of the shipping the turn to me so I can him to Torak you again. Yes? What are you up to? Sleight of hand, see if you get lucky? A reasonable play. Sleight of hand. Let's see if you get lucky. No. Oh, Wasteland Strang would be pretty good. Against Lotus Bloom, I like it. Alright, slight, slight. So, it is tough from here. His mana's pinched. Okay, he found a land. Awesome. How about I take two thirds of your hand? Got the Dragon Storm, got the Rite of Flame. Sweet. Um, I guess I play Mishra? Yeah. Now he's at one card. 
Oh, interesting. So I can go Pump Knight attack with Mishra. I can go Hypnotic Spectre. I can go Necropotence. I think the answer is Hypnotic Spectre. One card in his hand, three, four, five, eight mana available. So he can play any dragons that he top decks now. So I can go Pump Knight, Ritual, Necro. Seems like the right answer. I do feel like I'm a little bit vulnerable to him just drawing a giant dragon off the top of his deck. I wish I had like Terror in my sideboard. Yeah, I, was, I had Terror in my, my Pro Tour winning version of this deck. Had just Terror. Pretty sure it's illegal and standard. I should have it. It's funny, like... The decks that you had to play against at the time, the big creatures were green and white, so Dystopia was just dramatically better than Terror. But maybe that's a metagame thing. I definitely wish I had Terra in this matchup. Refill! Now to kill him as quickly as possible. That's a dragon, isn't it? That's a big dragon. All right, but now he's down to five mana. I can kill that with Ritual Necro, right? I just lose both my creatures. And a couple life. So, one, two, three, four, five, six is a drain for four. So I have to play a swamp. All right, well, do we do what we gotta do? Now a five mana with top decking. It should be pretty hard for him to recover from this. Do I strip mine? Do I play disc? What are my options? I can go. I can go Hypnotic Spectre Pump Knight. I can go Ice Quake Strip Mine. That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. And throw a Pump Knight in for good measure. That feels about right. Okay, three mana, one card in your hand. I think I can do this from here. And now I have Ivory Tower, so I can just keep drawing cards and gaining life. I've got the Zurin Orb. Yeah. This has been a scary matchup. Kind of cool, actually. So, one, two, three. I have six mana. I can play double Hippie. It's probably the right answer. Or I can play Hippie, attack with Mishra, play an Ivory Tower, which actually sounds a little better.
I mean, I had, I'm mildly worried about Dark Ritual into a dragon, but Xurnorb will save me in the short term, so that's not a lethal thing that he can do. Yeah, I cannot imagine how he wins from here. Um, am I just throwing off a Drain Life? Playing a Hypnotic Spectre? So many options. Two, four, he's a nine. Oh, let's just fire him. I think we can definitely kill him next turn. And we knock Bogart and Hellkite out of his hand. <sighs> well, this is what the Necro deck does. It doesn't kill quickly, but it disrupts quickly enough that Pop Knights can mop up eventually. Always a pleasure. Happy to get to do it again in the playoffs. How you doing, Shadow? One mana shy, and One then shy? double, double him to Turok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have you beat if you don't have the second him to Turok. I have you beat if you got if you got one of my Rite of Flames out of my hand instead of Seething Song. Ah. So like, there was a couple of different ways that could have went, but. Yep. No, it looked close. It looked close. Well, you can tell it's close because, like, I'm not tapping anything for a minute. I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> nope, I'm still getting to eight, not nine. Um, so when I drew my second Bogart and Hellcat, I realized it has flash. So, like, I could have done a little bit more to you. It could have been, like, surprise because, you know, who plays Bogart and Hellcat? Yeah. Uh, so, like, I could have played that better, but I don't think it would have mattered. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it mattering at all. No, it was close. I just had to be disruptive enough in the opening, but then once once the disruption engine gets rolling, I, I there wasn't anything you could do. Yeah. No, again, I agree. Again, it was close. We played two close three-game matches with that setup. That's yeah, I, I feel like it's close. Like, if you don't get a him there, yeah. like, if all you do is, is cast, like, a turn three hippie or something. Like, the first game you did a first turn hippie, and I'm like, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not worried about that. Although, I had one dragon sword in my hand. You had a 25% chance of just killing me. Oh, yeah. I'm aware. I figured it was something like that. Yep. Good games. Uh, yeah, good games.